What's good guys, welcome back to Ron's Rise News. Welcome back to the channel and welcome back to another video where I want to introduce you to the Apollo G2J electric sports car prototype. Yes, the Apollo Future Mobility Group has presented a vehicle that is quite different from its limited production hypercars. The Apollo G2J, described as an advanced rolling engineering prototype, is a fully electric sports car serving as a preview for the design and technology of the future Apollo products. Now, Apollo has been working on a prototype for more than two years, moving forward its goal to becoming an EV-only brand. And the model is codenamed G2J and is currently going through a testing phase for refinement and validation in key areas like the electric powertrain, connectivity, and digital ecosystem technologies. Now, the design of the G2J is a preview of Apollo's future design language Increasingly, the prototype doesn't look nearly as radical as the brand's ice-powered hypercars like the V12-powered Intensa Emissione and the Project Evo, opting for a more restrained approach. Now, it has proportions of a mid-engine sports car benefiting from the packaging of an EV platform. Now, the exterior is characterized by sculpted surfaces, pronounced fenders, a low nose, modern style, modern styled LED lighting units, dual intakes on both ends, butterfly doors, camera replacing mirrors, and a rear-mounted charging port. Now inside, you'll find a two-seater cabin where you'll find plenty of exposed carbon fiber, Alcantara upholstery, leather accents, and digital instrument cluster with a floating center console. Now overall, the G2J looks like it's close to production status in terms of design, technology, and materials despite being an engineering prototype. And according to Apollo, the G2J is made of using the most advanced lightweight composite materials with a chassis made of carbon fiber. Now the platform will underpin a range of performance focused EVs. Mind you that in November of 2021 last year, Apollo presented the Envision S sedan and Envision X SUV concepts alongside an electric crate powertrain. Now, while the company didn't go into details about the underpinnings of the G2J, it could be using an evolution of its 800 volt system that featured dual axial flux electric motors and planetary gearboxes. Now, Apollo Future Mobility Group has a network of wholly owned specialist centers in different locations in the UK, USA, Germany, and Japan. And development work for the prototype is led by the European R&D Center located in Germany. So with that said so far, what do you guys think about a sneak peek prototype of the Apollo G2J? Let me know down in the comments below. And if you guys did enjoy the video today, make sure you give it a big thumbs up. Give the video a like will help get it up in the rankings. More people can see it. And we'll have a bigger discussion on this new electric sports car, the Apollo G2J. Now, with that said, if you guys want to help further support the channel, always check the links down in the description below. We'll have a one-time link donation for my PayPal, my Cash App, my Venmo, and my Patreon, just in case you guys want to donate an extra dollar or two to the channel. I appreciate that extra love and support, guys. Thank you so much. Now, you guys can also check out the Ron's Rise merch, just in case you guys want hoodies, stickers, t-shirts, tank tops, everything Ron's Rise is there. And I'm also on TikTok, Facebook, Instagram, Snapchat, Twitter. See everything I'm posting, car memes, pictures, and videos that doesn't always make it here to the channel. Now, make sure you guys subscribe to the channel, but click that notification bell so you don't miss one video. And with that said, you guys be blessed. Have a great day, and we will talk to you guys in the next Ron's Rise News video. Peace.